Hi again, everybody. All right, so I have been doing this Weight Watchers thing for about a week now, and I'm down five and a half pounds. Yay, me. Uh, so I just did a grocery trip um, to pick up some stuff and to get some good snacks and things to have in the house because my mindless eating has been the toughest thing to deal with uh, throughout this whole week. Uh, one of the things I realize is I just go to the refrigerator and look for stuff to snack on and unfortunately it's not usually good stuff. So I went to the grocery and now the one thing you'll know about me or you'll learn about me anyway is that I do not like to cook. <laughs> My husband is a great person for cooking thankfully um, but I don't. I microwave and I will do crock pot cooking sometimes but for the most part it has to be quick and it has to be easy and I like to prepare stuff ahead for lunches for work things like that. So I thought that I would just show you what I picked up today at the grocery store and I have a Costco trip coming the end of the week and I'll probably pick up some more goodies there. Um, but this should do me, you know, for a good week or so anyway. So you'll see here, I decided to get some breakfast meat. I'm not a huge meat eater and I am gluten free. So I tend to um, be very picky about what I do actually eat when I eat it. And I decided to try these Johnsonville turkey breakfast sandwiches. I've never had them before, but they are three smart points for two patties, which I didn't think was too bad. And then I went with the Sargento Ultra Thin Cheeses, which I've seen many of you guys eating. I love cheese. Cheese is probably one of my biggest downfalls next to sweets. So um, thin cheese. Now a serving, they say, is five points for three slices. I did the map, math excuse me, with the Weight Watchers app, and it said these would be three points for two slices. I've been having cheese that's three points for one slice, so that'll be a nice point savings. I'm going to try these Dr. Prager's California Veggie Burgers. Somebody said they were really good. Four at smart points for one burger. All right, let's see here. Then I've got my staple, which is my Greek yogurt. I love this stuff. What I do is I take this to work uh, with a cup of strawberries and a cup of frozen sliced strawberries from Sam's Club, actually. And I let those melt, and then I mix them in with the yogurt, and it's delicious. I've been doing that for ages now and I picked up some fruit and water uh, fruit and sauce or even light sauces were several SPs I decided to go for the fruit with just water so uh, zero SPs on those and I have some cashew bars I've never tried before they are savory bars which ought to be interesting these are quinoa corn and roasted pepper uh, there are four smart points for one bar. I believe it's just one bar, not a pack of two. Oh, serving size two bars, so I take that back. So one bar would be two SPs, which might make a nice treat. Um, I have these Enjoy Life bars, which I've never tried this kind before. I usually like their chewy chocolate ones. I decided that this sounded good, so I'm gonna try it. Five SPs for one bar, so these will be a treat seen lots of recipes where people are using the mini chocolate chips so I picked some up to add into some little desserts um, four SPs for one tablespoon so I probably will not be using a tablespoon decided to try these Chobani dips um, with my veggies and they are one SP per serving and a serving size is two tablespoons so they're made with Greek yogurt that should be yummy then for my lunch snacks, I went ahead and did some Jello puddings, two SPs for the sugar-free, 
um, got some jello, well, some snack pack jello, zero SPs, and some applesauce, zero SPs, also um, for my lunches. Then I have not used these wraps before, um, but there was an Ibotta or some, oh, I think it was just a, a store discount on them, so I decided to give them a try. Gluten-free, three SPs for one. I'm also not a big bread eater, um, so I don't typically uh, have bread sandwiches or anything like that. Okay, then we've got our light sour cream, one SP per serving, which is two tablespoons. Butter spray, zero SP for a serving, which is five sprays. And I'll go back down here to the other SP filled stuff. So this is light whipped topping for one SP to use with those desserts um, that I was talking about earlier. Some outshine bars for two SPs. Got some apple slices, frozen. I've never tried them before, but I thought that might be yummy. As a little snack with some cinnamon, maybe some um, peanut butter powder. And then some healthy choice meals, five SPs each. Um, you'll notice they are gluten-free. Those will be good for nights when I want something and I don't want to put anything together. And then of course, lots of fruits and veggies. Grapes for my mindless eating times because the way I can grab a few and have a little snack for zero SPs. Bananas, which are my staples tomatoes to go with my cucumbers because I love a tomato cucumber salad. Um, I actually use the cucumber, the Hannah cucumber tzatziki from Costco. Um, two tablespoons mixed with the tomatoes and the cucumber makes a delicious little snack, something I ate even prior to going on Weight Watchers. I've got some limes, some oranges, some zucchini, some beautiful pears. They just look so gorgeous. I'm excited to try them. And then some nice gigantic um, red grapefruit. And that pretty much does it. I'm going to be watching some more of your guys' videos and looking at some list of things that I can possibly pick up at um, Costco and Trader Joe's before the end of the week. And I will be sure to share that. I'm not sure if this stuff is going to be flipped upside down for you um, in my video, and if it is, I do apologize. I'm still kind of new and getting the hang of all this, so I hope you'll forgive me. But anyway, my first week on Weight Watchers has been a roaring success. I've hardly been hungry. I've been, you know, just struggling the most with not being able to just grab and eat. Uh, the good thing about that is I'm not grabbing a lot of shit and eating it. Uh, so, you know, there's that. The other things that I've noticed is the Weight Watchers emphasis has changed. When I was on Weight Watchers, the focus was on high fiber foods. Points are crazy. I mean, Things that I expected to be two points that used to be two points are now five, seven points higher. I mean, it's, I'm amazed at the difference, though I do think in the long run, this is teaching me way better eating habits. Um, and I appreciate that. So we'll just have to see how this keeps on going. But anyway, if you want to leave me some comments in below, I'd be happy to get back to you. Uh, I thank you for your support. I thank you for those of you who are following me. If you're new and you want to follow me, just click like um, and subscribe. Let me know that you saw this and you're taking this journey with me because the one thing I know is I can't do it alone.